How to add your email account to Gmail. Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk you through adding an email account to Gmail. This method can be applied to an email account from any mail provider. However, in this tutorial, we will provide the specific settings for 123 Mail as well. Right, let's get to it. To begin, log on to your Gmail account. Click on the gear icon and then select Settings. From the menu, select Accounts and then select Add a POP3 mail account you own. Gmail uses POP3 to connect to the mail server. POP3 downloads your mail as you view it on your account. It's great for users who only want to access their mail from one email client or device. Gmail does not let you use the email protocol IMAP which allows you to manage your email accounts across multiple clients. These clients include desktop clients such as Microsoft Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird, a webmail client or your email app on your tablet or smartphone. A new window will open up. Now type in your email address and select Next Step. Type in your username. For 123 Mail, this is the email address for the mailbox you are setting up. If you are using an alternate mail provider, check with them for what your username should be. Now type in your password for the email account you are setting up. We can now begin connecting to the mail server. The POP server address is pop.123-reg.co.uk. If you are using another mail provider, you will need to enter their server address details. It is common practice to try pop.yourdomain.co.uk and then simply replace your domain with your own domain name. Please be aware that this does not apply to all providers. We therefore recommend that you check with your service provider for their specific server settings. Now you will need to change the port to 995. You can now decide whether or not you would like to leave a copy of your retrieved messages on the server. If you'd like to keep a copy of each message Gmail retrieves in your other email clients, then tick on the Leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server box. This way you can access your mail on alternate email clients as well as in Gmail. Please note that this option does not sync your mail, so if you delete an email in your Gmail account, it may still appear if you choose to view it on another email client. If you'd rather delete copies of messages that Gmail retrieves, then leave this option unticked. This will mean that any emails downloaded to Gmail will not be able to be viewed on other clients. For this demonstration, we will select to leave a copy of the messages on the server. Now tick the Always Use a Secure Connection SSL when retrieving mail option. This ensures that encryption has been set to provide security when accessing your email account. Also tick the Label Incoming Messages box. This is so you can easily view the mail being retrieved for your newly added account. Check that the email address you are adding is entered in the drop down menu. You can also select to archive incoming messages. This means that when you receive an email for the account you are setting up, it will skip your inbox. The email will go into a folder labelled with your email address, which you will be able to find just under the Drafts folder in the left-hand side menu in your Gmail account. However, for this tutorial, we will choose to leave this option unticked. Select Add Account. If a message comes up stating that there was a problem connecting to the POP server address, then please ensure you have entered your details correctly and try again. You should receive a message stating that your mail account has been successfully added and you can begin viewing your email via Gmail. If you would like to send email using the account you are setting up, then select Yes, I want to be able to send mail as the email address you are setting up. This is good for users who have this email address as a business account as it gives a more professional look when sending email. Now click Next Step. Now type in your display name. This is the name you want other people to see when they receive your messages. Check that your email address is displayed correctly. You can now choose whether you would like to treat your newly added email account as an alias. 
Treat as an alias links the email account you are setting up to your Gmail account, so emails are not separately labelled. Unticking Treat as alias tells Gmail to keep these emails separate to your personal Gmail account. This is best if you are using it for business emails or a mailing list. You can now choose to specify a different reply to address. This is used if you want replies to your emails to be sent to another email address. For this tutorial, we will leave this option out and keep the reply to address as the email account we are setting up. Click Next Step. Select the second option to send through your domain SMTP servers. SMTP enables you to send mail using the email account you are setting up via Gmail. For 123 mail, the server address is smtp.123-reg.co.uk. If you are using an alternate mail provider, try using smtp.yourdomain.co.uk as the outgoing server address, replacing yourdomain.co.uk with your own domain name. Although this is common practice, it doesn't apply to all providers. We therefore recommend, as with your incoming server settings, that you check with your mail provider for their specific outgoing server settings. Now change the port to 465 using the drop down menu. Now type in your username. For 123 mail, this is the email address for the mailbox you are setting up. If you are using an alternate mail provider, check with them for what your username should be. Type in your password for the account you wish to set up. Select the Secured Connection Using SSL option. Again, this ensures that encryption has been set in order to provide security when accessing your email account. Now click Add Account. If a message comes up stating that the server couldn't be reached, please check you have entered your details correctly and try again. Your account is almost set up. You will just need to verify that you are the account holder. A confirmation code will be sent to the inbox of the email account you are adding to Gmail. To access this email as a 123Mail user, go to the 123Reg website and onto Webmail. Log into your account with your email address and password, and have a look in your inbox for the Gmail confirmation email. If you are using an alternative domain provider, then you should be able to log on to their Webmail facility on their website. If it has not sent, click the Resend Email option and check your inbox again. Now enter this code into the verification box and select Verify. The box will close and your email account will now be set up. To begin sending emails using your newly added email account, you will need to confirm that you are the mail account holder. To do this, try sending an email using your newly added email account. When composing a message, Remember to select your new email account from the drop-down menu in the From box. You should receive a confirmation email in your Gmail inbox. Click on the link provided. You should now have confirmation that you can send mail using this account. Click on this link to return to Gmail and that's it. The account is set up. Thanks for watching. If you require further help or assistance, please visit our support site at www.123-reg.co.uk forward slash support.